So today we will be solving Kotsev Kotsev starter seventy three dip two problems. So let's start with the first problem, which is append for all. So the problem says chef has an array a of length n. Chef wants to append a non-negative integer x to the array a such that the bitwise or of the entire array becomes equals to y. So we have to determine the minimum possible value of x. If no possible value of x exists, output minus one. So let's check how how we can do. So suppose we are given an in, uh, array of only one element, which is four, and we have to make the uh, insert an element x such that we have to make the or of four and x equals to six. So what we can do? So let us check the binary representation of four. So it is one zero zero. Okay, and the binary binary representation of six is one one zero. It is four plus two, and and for four it is it is only four. So what is the minimum possible value of x so that the or of four with x will be equals to six? So think of it uh, for a while. It will be none other than two, whose binary representation is one zero. Why? Because see, in six the last uh, bit which is four is set, and in the four which is uh, in the four also this bit is set. So we don't we don't necess necessarily require to take this bit, but in four. This bit, which is two, is not set, but in six it is set. So we have to take our x such that overall this bit gets set. So we have to take this bit for sure. So we will take this bit, which will be equal to two. Now let's check this bit. This is not set in four, also not set in zero. So we don't uh, necessarily we don't want to uh, take this. Why? Because if we take uh, this bit in our x, then overall. In the left hand side, which is four or x, this will be this bit will get uh, set, which is not set in six. So it will violate the condition. So for this case, our x will be equal to two. Now suppose we have a case such that uh, array of uh, one element is given, which is six, and we have to choose a x such that six or x should be equal to four. So in this case, the answer will be minus one, which will be impossible. Let's see how. So the binary representation of six is one one zero, and the binary representation of four is one zero zero. So whatever x we will take, this bit will always be set in the left hand side, which is never will be set in the right hand side, which is four. So whatever x we will take, we can't make this left hand side equal to four. So in this case, our answer will be minus equal to minus one. So how to generalize it when we have multiple elements in our array? So suppose we have a condition like we have one, two, uh, four, and we have to uh, make uh, the or of all the elements equals to suppose like okay, fifteen. So let's check the binary binary representation of fifteen. It will be one, 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 and one. And in the left hand side, let us check. First, check this bit. This this is this bit is what? This is eight. So let's check is eight present in any one of the given element in the left hand side or not? So eight is not present in neither. It is not present in one, neither in two, nor in four. By not present, I mean here the binary representation of these numbers. The binary representation of one, the bit uh, eight, the this bit which is the Representation of it is not present, neither in two, neither in four. So we have to take x such that x should contain eight. So we have to take eight for sure. Now let's check this bit, which is four. So four is not present in one, four is not present in two, but four is present in four is present in four. So while we take the or of these three elements, the final answer we will get. In that four will be set because four is present in this element, so we don't need to include include four in our x. So we can skip this bit. Now let's check this bit. So let me write it again for the clarity. So now let's check this bit. This is what two and what was our elements one two four. So two is present here. So we also don't need to take this bit also. Why we don't need to take because we want to minimize our x. We can take also two 
but in that case our x will not be minimum because if 2 is already pre present we don't need to uh, take another 2 because while or of all the elements uh, this bit which is representation of 2 will already be set now let's take this bit this is 1 so one is present here. So we also don't need to take this. So in this case, our answer will be X equals to eight. So how to get this X? So we can just, we can simply just take uh, ZOR with the given number in as Y with or of all the elements in the left hand side, which is one or two or four. So it will be come out. It will come out to be 15 ZOR seven, which will be equals to eight. Now let's suppose a case where we are given that array, which consists of elements like suppose, uh, yeah. So suppose there is an array, which is consisting of elements like one, two, and four, and we have to make uh, in certain element X such that ZOR of all these elements equals to three. So again, let's check with the method which we did earlier. So the binary representation of three is one, one, zero, one, one. So let's check for this bit. One is present. This bit is the representation of two. So two is present here. So we don't need to include, include in it in our answer. Now let's check this bit. This is one, one is also present here. We don't need to include this bit, but in this case, if we check four, then the binary representation of four is one zero zero. So this bit is set in four. So while we do the or of all the elements, including X also, this bit will always be set in the left hand side, whatever X we take, but you can see this bit is not set in three. So we can't make our, uh, we can't make left hand side equal to right hand side with any possibility of X because whatever X we take this bit this bit will always be set in the left hand side, which is not set in three. So in this case, our answer will be equal to minus one. So what the final approach we uh, got to know is like first check if there is any bit which is present in left hand side and not present in the binary representation of Y in that case, our answer will be minus one. And if not, so then just, uh, just, uh, Find out the bits which is present in the left hand side, which is by y, but not presenting any of the given numbers, and hence so we can add those bits in our x. So let's check the code for it now. So here is the code for it. First, we have to input our n and k, then we have to input the array a. Then I have initialized my answer variable to zero and run a loop to make the answer equals to or of all the elements in the array. Now look at this condition K or answer not equals to K. So if K or answer is not equal to K, what does this mean? Is that what is answer? Answer is the or of all the elements present in our array. And if K or answer is not equal to K, this condition means that there is a bit, there is a bit in answer, which is set in answer, but not set in K. If not, so suppose if there, if uh, there was all the bits in K, which is uh, present, uh, sorry, pardon me for this delay. So let me again explain you. Suppose K or answer is not equal to K. What does this mean? It means that there is a bit present in answer, which was not present in K. So overall in this or that will be, that bit will be present, but in K it was not present. So this can't be equal to K, but we can already see that, uh, there can be bits in K, which is present and which doesn't require to be present in answer. So suppose it was, uh, there was a case like four and six, Y was four and the array, array element was six. So there was bit uh, two, which was present in Y, but not present in four. So this was a favorable case, but when we check for six or four, then there was a bit present in six, which was two, but not present in four. So th in this case, our answer was minus one. So just check uh, here, our K 
is equal to four and answer is equal to six. So four or six is equals to what? Six, which is not equal to K, which is four. But in this case, our K is equals to six and uh, answer is equals to four. So six or four is equals to six, which is equals to K, which is equals to six. So this case has an answer and this case doesn't have an answer. So I only want to tell you that, that this condition K or answer not equal to K means there is a bit in answer, which is present, but not present in K. So in that case, we are, I already, ex already explained you that will be in that case, our answer will be minus one, which is not possible. And if it's not, so what we can do, we can just take the ZOR of answer and K to find the bits which are present in K, but not present in answer. And that will be our answer. So I hope you understood the solution. Thank you.